I have a 60 and 120Hz monitor and film them both with my 120fps high speed camera on CSGO. Here you can see it being played back at quarter speed, making the 60Hz screen 15fps and the 120Hz one 30fps. I have tried to include clips that show movement, since it's when the screen is panning that you can see the difference most noticeably. Perhaps the most surprising thing is how obvious the screen tearing is on the 60Hz monitor. A lot of the muzzle flashes almost stop halfway down the screen when new information has arrived. Enabling VSync would remove this. I was kind of disappointed in games when I moved to my 120Hz screen. It's not instantly going to make you awesome if you suck before, and I could hardly notice the difference until I went back to my old monitor again. I guess it's like expensive headsets or cigarettes. You live your life okay without them, then once you make the leap you can never go back and have to spend lots of money. It's obvious in desktop work where movement feels more real, as though your mouse cursor is a cut out picture floating in front of it, rather than a digital pixelated icon. Despite saying that I couldn't feel the difference in game, when faced with two monitors at once, as I was here, the difference was apparent to the extent where the 60Hz screen felt jittery, as though I was caught behind a player running slightly slower than me in game. CSGO players will know what I'm talking about. Of course, 120Hz screens offer a wide range of knock-on benefits. Since mine is designed for 3D games, the amount of blur visible between frames must be minimal. Because of this, the monitor has very little ghosting, whereas 60Hz screens don't have to worry about this too much and will likely vary in quality a lot more. And then of course, there's the 3D mode to consider. It's gimmicky, but still fun, and it can make a second playthrough of an older game worthwhile. I have numerous videos covering games in 3D and how well they perform. I'll finish talking here, have fun!